Hey guys, it's Matt with the Infinite Explorers, and today we are at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota. We're going to be looking at the Cirrus 620 by New Camp Truck Camper, and we have Blake here, he's going to be taking us on a tour of it. Yeah, so the Cirrus 620, it's going to weigh about 1,700 pounds dry weight, so a lot of you know, half-ton trucks um, can, can carry this camper. Um, it's a feature-rich camper. It's got uh, uh, fiberglass sidewalls with the Asdell um, interior as well, so it's all aluminum structure with the fiberglass and then the Asdell um, in there, so don't have to worry about rotting or anything like that. Feature-rich around the whole, the whole camper. We've got the Ryko Titan 2,500 pound uh, jacks on here, remote control, very easy to move up and down, take off your truck, um, super simple. Also what they do, very simple for taking off the truck and loading it as well, is you got the ratchet tie down system. So you don't have to worry about extra setup on your truck. Um, very easy to, to tie down. You don't have to worry about uh, turnbuckles or anything like that. So very simple, fast. You can get it off your truck, on your truck very quickly, which is awesome. Um, on the outside here, uh, we've got the, the amazing um, windows. On the other side, I'll show you, um, they open up fully and you can get a lot of breeze through there. Um, a lot of uh, uh, sunlight comes through and, and, and everything with them as well. So you'll see that on, on the other side, we have, have one open. Um, on this side here, um, you do have power, um, some power outlets here. Um, this is going to be the vent for the Aldi heat system. Um, that's a direct vent boiler and we'll kind of go over that a little bit in the inside as well. So yeah, so on this side here, um, we can also get uh, a side awning as an option. Um, I don't have it on this unit, but it would be right up here. Um, and then that is going to be a, a power side awning. Um, very nice, nice feature as well. So along the front, we've got the, the four inch bumpers on the front. We've got the aerodynamic front cap that goes all the way um, to the back uh, with the aluminum roof. Um, so it's a very good system. You got the fiberglass on the front with the, the aluminum uh, roof. On the, this side over here, we've got the detachable power cord, um, 30 amp service. This is the window I was talking about. So all of the windows in the 2023 models um, the front window is not going to open up, but starting in the 2024 models, the front window will also open up um, like this as well. Um, so from we have a shade that pulls up and a screen that pulls down a very cool system um, on these windows. These are uh, dual pane windows as well, um, and they are, so they are insulated, um, helps in that cold weather. Um, the Cirrus uh, 620, they do claim that it is a four season camper. Um, so take that with whatever you want uh, to, to take it with, depending upon where you're at in the country, you can use this in cold weather as well. We do have one 20 pound propane tank and some extra storage here. And along the, the back here, we have, this is gonna be your gray holding tank um, outlet here. And then we have your low point drains and then the uh, power cord for the running lights. This is going to be the cassette toilet. So very easy. Um, you can, what's nice about these versus the black tank is that you can dump it anywhere. So whether it's at an RV dump station, whether it's at a, a rest area with down a regular toilet or down a vault toilet, it gives you the option to, to be wherever, whenever to dump your, your toilet holding tank. And then this here is going to be more storage um, on the outside. What's really cool about this one here, it does have an automatic light. So when you open this up, um, it will uh, uh, start the light. Up over here, we've got the Nautilus water system. The Nautilus water system is, is just a very awesome uh, system here so that we can um, fill our tank and, and do the city water, do uh, winterizing, sanitizing tank, very simple and easy um, all from this system. You also have hot and cold um, water here for, for an outside shower and then you also have access to your water pump to turn it on and off here as well. We do have an onboard uh, rear observation camera so you can see behind you while going down the road. Um, very simple and, and easy. That is a standard option um, as well. So then going on to the inside, 
We have the door, small camper, but they try to utilize all the space that you can. Um, so they've created a mold so that you can store things in here. There's even a spot for a little trash can right here. Uh, you've got a shade in, in the window. And what's cool about the new camp is they're always finding ways to save space. And so this is going to be the, the screen door that just folds right back in, retracts right back in. Then coming in, it's a very modern look. Uh, we got the gray interior with the, with the LED lighting, uh, very spacious. The windows, again, it gives you an immense, just kind of a, a full uh, wrap around outside view. So when you're in here, um, you're, you're feeling a part of, of the campsites as well. Um, you do have the 12 volt fridge over here. There's a little, little freezer in there as well. Um, and then over on this side, we do have a two burner stove top and then a, a pretty deep sink for a little camper. The seating area is amazingly comfortable. So this is the Laguna table. So it can move all kinds of different directions. Can also go down to make into a bed here too. So if you can uh, want to have a third person um, here with you, you sure can. Um, the north-south uh, queen bed is is awesome. It also has the Frawley sleep system. So it, a, it gives comfort, but then also it helps distribute the air underneath that. I was saying earlier, this is the Aldi heat system. So it's a direct vent boiler. So it's radiant heat. So the, the uh, uh, boiler is going to heat up the glycol in the lines and, and give constant heat. So you don't get that hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold that you would with the normal forced air furnace. Um, it's a very comfortable um, kind of setup, but then also that heat is gonna radiate underneath the bed there as well for those cold nights. Over in this corner here, we have the cassette toilet. And again, it's just kind of an ingenious design. Comes out, turns, and so that you can um, use it. You know, most people will use this toilet at nighttime so they don't have to go tramping through the, the uh, campsite and everything. But then during the daytime, they a lot of times will use the campsite facilities. Up here, there is an option for an air conditioning uh, air conditioning unit. This one here has the uh, standard uh, fan in out, um, so it's very it creates a lot of lot of breeze and everything through here. Um, and then you got the the front window and the side windows. You do have storage up up top here. You got cup holders and a lot of lighting um, up there as well. This unit um, does have 210 watts of solar on it. It is lithium compatible if you do want to put lithium batteries in, in or if you want to stick with the lead acids. Um, we suggest the AGMs if you're going to go that route just for the, um, they, they do store underneath um, the seat here. And so just kind of being more in, interior wise, we, we do suggest the AGMs if you're going to go with the, the traditional um, uh, 12 volts. So the storage, lots of storage. And again, all, all of this is very high quality. Um, so get, got a lot of storage for a small unit. This specific storage one right here can either be storage or you can also get an optional microwave here as well. 